I am a sucker when it comes to crosshair boards. That's why when I saw this one turn up on Facebook Marketplace, I could not stop myself. This is a Crosshair 4 formula, so a very early version of the motherboard that I have in my personal system that I run every single day. There's only one problem with it. It doesn't seem to boot, and I mean honestly, look at it. It's rather disgusting, like there's some strange corrosion on pretty much everything, and aside from that, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like it took a hit on this cooler. This is some weird old Zalman cooler, and honestly, I have no idea what is even underneath this cooler, because I tried booting it, it didn't boot, so I can't find out what kind of CPU is even in this thing, and I'm really hoping that it's a Phenom uh, 1100T, because that was like the best of the best back then, so this is a Crosshair 4, that means it's a 890FX, so that's your Phenoms, Athlons, late 2000s, early 2010s, that kind of window. It's probably one of the first motherboards to even have USB 3.0, so your blue USBs. It's got all kinds of really cool and strange I.O. by today's standards, but hopefully we get it working and find out what kind of CPU is underneath this, uh, this Zalman cooler. The Zalman cooler is like super old, but it's damaged, so I'm going to take it off here and find out what kind of CPU I got hiding under there. Yeah, I already popped it on Benchy here and tried firing it up. It would just give me like memo K and CPU errors, so hopefully I can just get it cleaned up and it'll work. I need to know. It looks like it's a Phenom, so that's a good sign. Come on, baby. Give me 1100T. An 1100T would make a lot of sense because it was like... The Halo chip at the time it was the best CPU that I think uh, AMD made at the time. So hopefully we have a 6-core Phenom under there. That would be so much fun. <laughs> Either that or I think this motherboard actually has uh, capabilities to unlock cores. So maybe someone bought this motherboard to get a better deal on a, on a CPU. Like, I'm not entirely sure how that works because uh, I didn't actually experience any of that back then. I just know that... There are certain motherboards had capabilities of unlocking cores so that you could uh, you could buy a cheaper CPU and then just overclock it and unlock cores and it would be the same as a higher end part. But at the same time, this is a crosshair board. Like, put the best in it. That's what I do. I've got a 3950X and a, a crosshair formula board. Like, of course, it's the best. At least it used to be the best. <laughs> All right, it's off of there. What do we have? We have a Phenom 2, okay, 970, interesting. Looks like we've got a Phenom 2 uh, X4, so that's a 4 core, 970, black edition, should be overclockable. Let's get this board cleaned up and uh, hopefully get it back in service. God dang, FM, AM3 socket, like not even AM3 plus, AM3 socket. Although I think you can put uh, some FX, some early FX CPUs in this board, and they will work with the beta BIOS. So maybe we'll have to try that out. God, how am I going to clean this thing up? You know what? I'm just going to pop it in the dishwasher and uh, forget about it. I also have to wash one of the motherboards that we used for uh, liquid nitrogen overclocking because it's got freaking Vaseline all over it. God, it's so gross. I hope that this camera will focus right. I'm gonna hold it up to this camera because I know this camera is pulling actual 4K. All right, I'm gonna go pop this thing in the dishwasher and hopefully that'll clean it up enough to actually work. Might require some scrubbing, I, I don't know. It's kind of rusty. Looks like it sat outside in someone's car or trunk for a little while. Hopefully she works. All right, so this thing just got out of the dishwasher. It is absolutely gorgeous on every surface except for some like minor corrosion around some pins and surface capacitors. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up some more with a toothbrush, maybe some uh, Q-tips and alcohol. Got a fancy toothbrush. I haven't changed my toothbrush head in forever, so I figure I might as well use my old toothbrush head to fix this. The ultrasonic toothbrush works so much better for this. The smell of alcohol is so strong. 
I think this is sufficiently cleaned, at least as clean as I'm going to be able to get it. Wish I could get some more of this crap off of here, but it's very corroded. And alcohol doesn't seem to have that big of an effect on it anymore. Well, let good be good enough. Let's go ahead and pop this old phenom back in here. Nope, we have life. It's getting warm. <laughs> All right, I think we have brought it back. Um, I'm gonna get an actual cooler on that and fire this thing up. All right, so for this, I'm gonna be using my favorite big tower air cooler, the Deep Cool Assassin 3. And it should do just fine cooling this 130-ish watt part. I love this old motherboard, it's so pretty. Especially now that it's all cleaned up. The G-Skill Ram, G-Skill Ripjaws X10, whatever you want to call it. It looks so fitting on this motherboard. It's funny, I use this Gamer Storm cooler, Deep Cool, whatever you want to call them, uh, cooler for pretty much everything. But the screwdriver that came with this cooler, I have used for everything on this channel. <laughs> it's a great screwdriver, it really is. Good job, Deep Cool, with your screwdriver. If you guys want a top tier screwdriver, buy a Deep Cool Assassin 3. 1010, would recommend. Alright, you know what? I think I might actually go to cold storage and pull something out that is vintage for this motherboard. Here it is, a GTX 580. You know, second gen Fermi, right about the correct time period for this uh, hardware. And uh, if some of you guys remember, we did cook an egg on a GTX 480, so go ahead and check out that video. But uh, this is second generation for me, so it doesn't get quite as hot, but uh, it still gets pretty toasty. But it's perfect for uh, this hardware. It's kind of weird, this older hardware has a mini HDMI. Good thing I've got one of those lying around. F1 to run setup. Oh, we're in. We're in, boys! Man, look at this old BIOS. Back in my day. All right, what are we looking at? OC tuner. Man, I don't even know how to deal with any of this stuff. CPU configuration. So we got a Phenom to 970, so that's reading right. Let's see about this Asus Core Unlocker. Let's go ahead and enable that. I think I have to push this button here on the motherboard. Yeah, so all six cores show up there. So I think that's why this person had uh, picked this CPU for this motherboard. Like, thinking about it, he would have gotten a better deal on a four core than he would have on a six core. So just go ahead and buy the four core, get a good motherboard, and boom, you have a motherboard with six cores. I'm so excited, this is so much fun. This thing is actually pretty beast for its day. Like, this was like the last time that AMD could really compete with Intel. Until now, of course. <laughs> Four cores activated. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was like an animated BIOS. I can't believe just sticking in the motherboard in the dishwasher and then cleaning it up with a toothbrush is what fixed it. Like, hardware is so much fun. All right, we got it all assembled. We got drivers installed. We got 16 gigabytes of RAM running at probably not the greatest of speed, 1200-ish eh, megahertz. But uh, let's see, it runs some uh, benchmarks. I'm just gonna run a quick uh, Unigen uh, Heaven benchmark. It's pretty standard for the time that this hardware came out. I think it'll run pretty good. Unfortunately, the Phenom 2 in this system is not unlockable. It's the wrong skew of Phenom X4s to be unlockable. It's like the first revision, the second revision, you could unlock cores on. This one you can't. 
But I have some other CPUs here that I'm going to go ahead and try to unlock. So hopefully we can get some success with that. But unfortunately, it's the wrong CPU for it. Which got me thinking, why did the person who originally had this motherboard get a 970? And from what I can tell, the 970 had like the best-ish single core performance that you could uh, overclock to. So they probably went ahead and got the best... CPU that they could just overclock with this board and left it alone from there. Like, I think there is a slightly higher skew uh, four core Phenom, but it's not overclocking like that much higher, so they just went ahead and got the cheaper one, which makes sense, I guess. I guess. <laughs> but the board has the feature for core unlocking, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it with some other CPUs after this benchmark runs. Uh, it's getting like 130 ish FPS. It's doing pretty good. Are we getting 300 FPS in COD 4? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> We're getting nearly 60 FPS in Skyrim. I don't know what these settings are. I think it set it to medium settings, just auto detected. Game plays fine. It's actually not bad for auto detecting and auto detecting medium and then it just playing fine. Not bad. What else do I want to do? Okay, let's go ahead and swap out the CPU and see if I can't unlock some cores with these random CPUs I got laying around. Alright, so here we got a Phenom uh, 965 Black Edition. Uh, I think this is actually from the Sub Zero Overclocking the Wrong Way video, <laughs> but uh, maybe we can unlock some cores on this thing. So yeah, in this motherboard, if you could unlock cores, it's going to be under CPU configuration and core unlocker, enable it, and then I guess you could just set auto, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's see what it unlocks on this thing. Honestly, I have no idea what it's going to unlock. I haven't really planned for this video at all. I really expected this motherboard to have a 6-core phenom in it to begin with, but here we are. Four cores are activated. I don't think that was a two core SKU to begin with, so I don't think I unlocked any cores on that one either. So this is a Phenom 2. Uh, I believe it's an X2 B55. So if we're going to unlock cores, this is probably the best chance I have. I think I've got one more CPU to try if this doesn't work, but I'll have to pull it out of storage. So this CPU that I have in here right now is actually a uh, I don't think it's unlocked. Um, it is a OEM chip out of like say an HP. Uh, I got it when I tried ordering the super cheap CPU off of Newegg, but uh, who knows what we'll find with this one. <laughs> Again, CPU configuration, core unlocker enabled. All right, let's see if this one unlocks any cores. And there it is. We have four cores where this is normally a two core part. That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> it, it's always fun to see these kinds of things that uh, that aren't really around anymore. Like obviously AMD is not going to sell you a 3300X and then, and then you can just turn it on to be a uh, 5800X but <laughs> you know I say a 30 a 3300X and it be able to turn on to like a 3600X. I don't know how I, I don't know how to really put it. Yeah, there we go. An X4 555. Even though this CPU that's in here right now is definitely an X2 B550. Or no, it's a B50. Like it's not even like a 550. All right, hold up. I don't actually know what I'm talking about for sure here, but I'm pretty sure that we did unlock cores here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and un and relock the cores and see what it does, because I'm confused right now. I, I'm not really sure how this is, this is supposed to work. This has to be a two core. It is too slow to be a four core. Ah oh, yes, there it is. It is. It is a two core. So you can unlock it and it be a four. That's so cool. I, all right, so <laughs> I've never been able to do this. It was really fun. Uh, I'm really happy. I want to thank um, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name offhand, man. I'm terrible with names, but 
the uh, the nice gentleman who sold me this motherboard at a discount because I had a YouTube channel. I mean, uh, obviously it's not work. It wasn't working when I got it. Like I, it wouldn't start up. And the cooler was damaged on it. It looked like it took quite the beating, but throwing it in the dishwasher, cleaning it up with a toothbrush and some alcohol, and uh, it fired right up. So if you guys like this kind of video, if you guys want to see some more cool old features from this uh, crosshair board, you know, leave a comment. Just let us know. Drop into the Discord and you know, hit us up, chat with us. I'm very active on the Discord, just like in the comment section. You can always pretty much always get a hold of me. Like always guys, get subscribed, like this video, and have a great day. That's so cool. <laughs>